So today what I want to do is teach you how to do a backslide. And basically it's a simple move. So I'll just quickly explain it as I'm like trying to get my gear ready. Um, it's basically when you like yaw coming out of a split S and then you kind of backslide facing the object that you just um, did a split S over. So I'll run through really quickly and show you kind of like as um uh, as I start to begin flying what it looks like and then run you through very simple steps on what I do to position myself to make a backslide and it really looks cool it's an easier trick than other advanced tricks so I think it looks pretty cool and it's going to give you kind of like a, a new dynamic to add um, to the moves you already have so Let's just get started real quick. Here we go. Okay, so what am I talking about? So basically, you just go split S, right? And then this is kind of like a backslide. And why that, why I call it backslide is because you're not really going backwards necessarily. You're just taking your momentum and carrying it And that looks really cool. Um, you can add different moves to it and all that stuff. So here we go. So the first step you want to do is position yourself, right? So just do a simple split S and come down to the object. Let's just do another one, right? Get a good view of the object. Now just slightly turn your yaw and then come back into it. So, how I like to do it, the easiest way to do it, in fact, is you split us, right? And you yaw, and you flip out of it. Or you could just yaw back over through it again. So like, here we go, here's just like, a, he's doing yaw. And that looks pretty clean too. Um, but the key to this is working on it, working on your backslides on the ground. So, so like, okay, like I'm going backwards, sort of, but I'm kind of sliding back. So, yawing, sliding back, yawing, sliding back, yawing, sliding back. Once you get that done, it's all about just timing on adding your split S. So here we go. And that looks really clean. So that's how I'd break it down for you guys is that try to try to do the split S, work on your backslides and then combine them. So here we go again. Split S. Oh that was close. <laughs> Thought I was gonna clear that. Alright, so here we go. Split S. Right? Yaw. Until you face the object. Come back over. So here we go. Let's put in a flip. Slightly yaw until you see the object. And then you could just come out of it however you choose to. But I'm done with this pack, so. Let me come back into it and exit. So yeah, that's about it guys. I almost like got stuck in a tree, but nonetheless, that is how you do um, a backslide. It's a yaw backslide. Um, you go over an object, either through a power loop or a split S. Split S is probably the easiest to start off with. Do the split S a few times, get the timing down right. And then what I would do is transition yourself into a backslide on the flat ground. So use your momentum, do a half yaw, um, you know, so you're facing backwards and then just let it slide. And the key to this is making sure you're spatially aware of your surroundings, right? You don't want to backslide and hit a tree, right? Or hit something else. So you got to make sure everything's cleared out the way. Um, as you go forward, turn, backslide, come out of it, 
however you choose to if that's flipping out of it that's yawing out of it um, it really just doesn't matter that piece of it really doesn't matter it's it's really the backslide yaw that I really like um, to add in my videos and the last video I did it a lot more because I was practicing it just to get the stick feel down um, as much as I can so anyways guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you liked it give me a like and uh, yeah leave me a comment and see you guys in the next one peace hey, I've been caught up in this life don't speak my mind enough from pushing on me, pushing on me,